Max Dermy news, a couple of Canadians may have COVID and a few players are missing from training camp rosters. It's all coming up. Let's jump straight in. Max Dumi and the Montreal de Canadien, or Canadien de Montreal, uh, have released a statement saying that Max Dumi, uh, who is type 1 diabetic, will hold off uh, 7 to 10 days, roughly, uh, before they make a call on him. Uh, and that was it for the story. That was the story that we ran on the podcast that we just recorded. Should be up very shortly. It's a hockey night. Go check that out. Um, it's pretty much everywhere. I'm pretty sure, like we sent... Cassette, cassette tapes to the International Space Station so they can listen to it, but we don't do that. It's, it seems like a lot of work. Um, very expensive <laughs> to play to three people. Um, so it looked like that. However, The Athletic are now reporting that at least three Montreal Canadian players uh, have contracted COVID uh, in the last week, have a positive test for it. Uh, which is not good, seeing that 29 total players of uh, 29 uh, Montreal Canadiens have skated at that rink this week. Um, so really, really not good. Um, and yeah, you'd hope that they won't go on to bars or anything like that. And this just has something to do with airports. But this is the real risk of not having people in a bubble uh, for the moment. And then all of a sudden, bubble life starts in two weeks. Like it's this weird thing of just like really, uh, everyone kind of should be in a bubble now. Uh, if not a few weeks ago, but yeah, it seems a bit of an oversight. So this is a real risky time for the next two weeks. This is going to be the make it or break it, because if a bunch of people contract it, that season can't happen. Uh, and we got the latest date that the Stanley Cup can be awarded. I think it's like October the 3rd or October the 4th. So uh, yeah, so a little bit of pressure. Uh, while GM Billy Garen uh, has messaged all of his players uh, the following. Uh, stay home as much as you can, stay out of bars, and pretty much just be smart and do, do dumb things. Um, and, you know, it's not just about you and, and your thing, it's the whole league. And, uh, yeah, we're trying to get this thing going. Obviously, it's advantageous for everyone that things get going, but uh, that's just a bit interesting. But, yeah, the GM is just like, come on, guys, like, let's, let's, <laughs> let's rein this in. Some rosters that have been released. The Penguins roster has been released. No weird omissions there, just Trotman, who I mentioned in yesterday's news video. Uh, but a few of the other ones are missing some players. Uh, Flames have been released, so nothing wrong there by the looks of it. I couldn't see anything. The Toronto Maple Leafs, Andreas Jonsson is missing. So uh, he had knee surgery back in February the 18th um, and still hasn't recovered from that. Uh, reports are that he may be ready by the second round of the playoffs if players can sub in, which looks like they can because Rutherford mentioned that today. So that was an interesting tidbit. I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming they'll need like two negative tests before they can join players over like a five day period or something. But um, yeah, so that's interesting. However, Nick Robertson, uh, however, Nick Robertson uh, has joined the Leafs uh, from junior. Um, so I uh, look to see a few teams if they have a space to do this because obviously Lord knows when junior hockey is starting up again. So anything to get development into some of these kids, especially if they're a blue chip or or around that sort of, you know, that maybe that one run under, um, it's good to sort of give them time. So, and obviously, you know, save burning a spot for like some 30 year old AHL fringe player. Plus we know if a kid has legs, like usually at the start of a season, that can be really good. And usually at the end, they sort of fall away a bit. And during this playoffs, it's all gonna be at the start here. So someone who's just young and fit and game and, you know, might be a, a surge at some point for this team, just to have someone to just be a water bug and just, you know, be able to go everywhere. Jets also released their lineup. Uh, Brian Little, uh, who got struck with a puck in November, I think it was the fifth, and hasn't played since in the ear and had to have surgery there. Uh, he's been left off as well with no real return um, set. No one from the Jets commented on that. Uh, might even look that he might be done. <laughs> I think that's the kind of vibe that I'm sort of getting. Um, that, yeah, Brian Little may have played his last game, uh, which is a bit scary. Um, yeah, that, oh boy. And with uh, Mike Green uh, not uh, playing, which I reported on yesterday, that does affect the picks side of things with that trade with the Red Wings. So now that becomes a fourth round pick. Uh, there was a condition for that to be a 2021 third round pick if uh, they made it to the conf if the Oilers made it to the conference final and Green played 50% of the games, but obviously he won't be playing any of those games. So 
Uh, yeah, so that's not going to be happening. So that's going to be a fourth round pick, and that's going to be set and solid. Um, that's it. That's your lot. That's all the news. Uh, I, I think there'll be a lot more tomorrow to run through. I just think right now we're still just in that little little lull period, but I think tomorrow when everyone's training camp roster comes out um, and the last chance for the opt-outs will be when there's kind of a, a load of news there. Don't be surprised if there's a bigger name <laughs> on that, but uh, yeah, that's everyone. I don't think anyone has opted out since my last video on that, um, at least in the last like, you know, 49 hours. Um, just looks like we're waiting, we're in that holding pattern, and I think a few players with type 1 diabetes might take the Max Dermy approach. Then again, he may be taking that approach because he knows that there's three positive cases there and it could be running rampant through the Montreal Canadiens. Let's hope not. Don't go to a bar, guys. Like, just be smart here. Like, you know, we, we're so close. We're so close to that finish line. Just stay home. <laughs> For the love of God, stay home. Um, please do not get this, but uh, I have a feeling this might be a bit of a rough time. Anyway, guys, uh, you also stay safe. Have a great day. See you and uh, bye.